Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with another look at the original campaign scene of a scene that happened in one of the most recent episodes of The Legend of Vox Machina. If you're not familiar, we did this last week. Somebody different, somebody named Skyart, put up a video where it showed a lot of the events that happened in episode three of The Legend of Vox Machina in actual campaign, how it went down, how they actually rolled. It was fairly long, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. This one's a lot shorter. This one's only four minutes long. I don't know exactly what it's dealing with as far as the sun tree, but it's called the sun tree moment. I figured we'd have a lot of these after the episode started rolling out, and this is put up by Specko Girl. So let's jump in. We'll talk more after. If you also didn't notice, I have my new shirt. I figured this was going to be the shirt for next week's episodes, but since I'm jumping into a thing that's kind of related to after episode six, I'm going to wear it. I figured I'd show you guys, but I have a couple other shirts. Vox Machina related. We also got all the pops up over here. Grog's at the top all the way down to Trinket over here in the corner. We're missing Vax. Vax is the only one we don't have. I have everybody else up there, I believe. Unless it was like a special edition or something like that, they're all up there. But we'll talk after we see this. I'm curious to see what exact part of the Sun Tree this deals with. It could be dealing with the background of the Sun Tree, like how it all started. Percy said in his thing in the episode that it was like over a thousand years ago. It's got a long history. So it could either be dealing with why is the Sun Tree or how did the Sun Tree get destroyed? Or is it when Keyleth was underneath in the basement thing, and she was trying to talk to the Sun Tree to, to figure out what was going on. It could be any of those moments, so I don't know. It says it's Campaign 1, Episode 28, but obviously it's only four minutes of that, and it was probably like a four-hour campaign episode. So, you guys want to see more of what I do, full on edited reactions, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, and hundreds of exclusives. You'll only see their Patreon link at the end. If not, the original video will be in the description, but here we go, guys. This is the Sun Tree moment, original campaign look at The Legend of Vox Machina. Campaign one, episode 28, and it's showing Marisha. Make your way to the center of the town. There was a town square, uh, and there was the tree there, a very large old tree that is kind of twisted with all these various uh, gnarled branches that reach out. Uh, you recall Desmond mentioning something called the Sun Tree. Um, that is the centerpiece of Who? this area. And you get a view enough of the tree to see that there are uh, eight humanoid bodies of varying ages swinging from it. Oh, so it's the last scene. As you guys are keeping on the outskirts of the square, um, it's hard to make out the details and weathering has, has kind of muddled. I can't believe I didn't think of that as being the, what they were talking about. Uh, you guys notice the figure on the far left. Um, the body. The body, the body on the far left has a... Uh, the, the, uh, like a red paint smattered across its face and its arms. Um, it's wearing a, uh, a dirtied green vest-like robe that dangles below it as it hangs there. Like Keyleth. Immediately to the left of it, you see what looks to be the body of a child. The child is... Uh, the necklace pikes. ...dressed up in a purple-ish billowing uh, shirt. Very fine silk shirt. Oh no, that's Scanlan. Is dangling there next to it. To the left of that, you see it appears to be a female, um, adorned in greens and browns. Uh, looks like red paint has been driven through the hair, and dangles to the left of that figure. Next to that, you see what appears I'm to be. I'm walking the fuck away. You see what appears to be a uh, another woman dressed in dark blacks and browns, leathers, some furs across the top, dark hair, dangling. To the left of that, you see another man dressed similarly, dark grays and blacks. Long That's Vax hair. and Vex. Dang the the Vax one before them sounded like he. A large Keith. man, older, rotund, probably in his 40s. Clothing padded, but mostly open chest. Hair completely shaved bald. Looks like there are dark scars or place across the face. Are they figuring Dang it out yet? Yeah, Keyleth, I mean, uh, Marisha looks like she did. Uh, this figure is actually not humanoid. It appears to have been... Uh, oh, my God. ...recently hunted bear... That is dangling. No, 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 no. Was there a bear in ours? I don't remember seeing the bear. It looks like us. It's us. What? It's us. They killed people they thought were us. Or or they killed... Or it's a message. Or it's a message. No, it's a message. In the, at least in the show. Do they look like us or are they just dressed like us? 
Uh, Are they made to look in the like show, they looked them? like them. Yeah. I'm okay. a little curious. Do you want to get closer? Is there is there Are any is sure? there anything around? Sam's the like yes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably anything watching at the base the of the tree. Is there anything? Um, the from what you can see yeah. now, they nothing are. but just rocks and stones and uh, piles of loose we cloth that just been plan. rotting below it. Approaching, it looks like each one of these bodies has been dressed up. Um, it looks like the, the color in the redheads. What are the odds they would find people that looked like them? Painted red has been slapped. We just happen to find um, seven or eight dudes that look just like you. Six these of you. Were not individuals that were caught this way. This was. Oh, that's right. You can't have Pike's necklace because Pike's not there, and it was a message. Keep walking. Keep your head down and keep walking. Different order. All right, guys, so that was awesome. I didn't even think of that. I'm thinking of all the times we've seen the sun tree throughout the episodes, and I'm forgetting the most impactful moment at the very end. In my mind, I wasn't thinking about the sun tree. I was thinking about the people in that scene. So to me, the people are what stand out, the fact that they look and are dressed like them. So when I'm thinking sun tree, I'm like, oh, that's an interesting topic. It must have something to do with the history because Percy mentioned it was very old. I understand they nailed these people or hung them to the tree but in my mind it just never equated i just saw this like 10 minutes ago someone was like yo go react to this did you edit up six yet i'm like nope i'm editing six six is gonna be up soon and they're like yo go react to this as long as you've seen episode six go react to this right now so i kind of just jumped in without thinking a whole lot on it i had 10 minutes to think while i was coming up with this thumbnail which is quite wonderful but I can't believe I didn't think of that, but it's great that I didn't because the surprise was so much better. As he was describing it, I'm like, wait, what? Oh, there's all these people nailed to the tree. They looked like they were nailed to it in the actual show or possibly tied to it, but whatever. It's not important how they were put on the tree. In the beginning of this, they were talking like, what threw me off is I thought the first person was Keyleth because they're saying they're in green robes and they got red paint splashed all over them. So I'm thinking her hair, but then down the line they go and the next one's a woman in green robes with browns and red paint in her hair. And I'm like, wait, who the hell's the first person then? Then I remembered Pike isn't part of our group. That's why there's no amulet thing. And that's why the first person was red paint on the body. It's because it was Tiberius, I believe, who is the other guy that was part of their group that apparently is no longer part of their group. The last scenes I saw that were scenes of the campaign from episode three had him in it, Orion, the guy that was Tiberius. I don't know if just by coincidence he isn't here today because his character is still down there and it still says his name Orion. So I don't know, maybe he was still in hiatus at this point, but we know at some point he's gone and then Pike comes back. But a little differently done because Pike's not here, still horrifying to see them react to it not knowing what's going on like having me and us for the most part know what's happening or what's about to come as soon as he said there were a bunch of people on the tree i'm like okay we know what's coming i feel like the dead giveaway is the purple shirt the silky shirt with pantaloons that are like very baggy because of the fact that purple is my favorite color maybe it stood out to me more so than other things but in the beginning he's saying red paint on the arms and the head then green robes then a purple shirt then two people a guy and a girl that are both in like blacks and leathers or something like that and the child is in the purple shirt i'm trying to think of at what point i would have picked up on it realistically and i think i definitely Definitely would have already been onto it by the purple shirt, possibly even by the first one. Because if I was more familiar with this campaign and the characters, I feel like the first one of Tiberius with red paint on his face and arms in robes that are green. If that's what the dude looks like, I feel like I immediately would have picked up on it because when they said that, I thought Keyleth. But then again, I also saw episode six, so I knew it was coming. I'm talking like without knowing anything, would you have picked up on it? How quick? I almost want to go back and rewatch their expressions because I was so into Matt explaining it. I wasn't watching their faces right off the bat. And then as I started watching their faces, it looked like Marisha picked up on it first. And then Sam was like, wait. Did you find people that looked like us and you thought it was us or did you dress people up like us? And I guess when you're not involved and you're just theorizing off the fly, that kind of made sense. But knowing what happened, I'm like, what? You think someone actually found 
six or seven dudes that look just like you. Seven because Orion's not there. You think someone just found seven people that it happened to look like all of you and murdered you and didn't realize it? Obviously, it's a message. And then at the end, they're confirmed it's a message. I even like that after the video, Specko Girl put up the original, or not the original, put up the video of the animation from the actual show, episode six. That's how episode six ended. Another huge cliffhanger of an ending. We're going to get episode seven, eight, and nine next week. You guys want to see all the other Vox Machina content, Critical Role related stuff on the channel. There are dozens of videos. I will get episode six out later tonight. It'll probably be up in a couple hours. Check it out. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full on edited reactions to all the shows on the channel. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing and hundreds of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon. Check the link in front. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.